All right, just finished the hike up here in Moab. First stop on my way to Chicago, where I used to live in that area for 14 years-ish. Ah, oh, not playing water, especially on a hot day like today. Okay, um, wanted to get out a topic that I'd been thinking about um, for quite a while, just not sure how to, what exactly I want to say on it. And it pertains to true strength and strength that I've been talking about on this page. Uh, strength, unlike anything you're going to hear on other, I guess, training, rehab, fitness, whatever, even medicine now is trying to, all forms of it are trying to incorporate movement in their, their own little niche way. Um, and they're getting in the way of things. And here's something I wanted to spotlight in regards to strength. So typically people reach out to me to do one-on-one -on -one work <clears throat> presenting with some sort of an injury, chronic or acute, or um, trying to avoid a surgery, um, trying to prep for a surgery, or trying to rehab post-surgery. Um, and then there are the cases that are preparing to heal. And what I mean by this is, and I've said it, but I don't think a lot of you read uh, what I post, and that's fine. Some people don't like to read. I'm kind of like that. Uh, <sighs> You like to listen or you like to see or you like to experience and that's cool so here's the audio video version of what i'm talking about in regards to what's prepping for heal the allopathic model um and chemotherapy they will say this regularly and i've said this before where they will say okay you can't handle another round or a specific type of chemotherapy because you're just not strong enough to be able to handle it. Your body is not strong enough. So even they will admit that there is an amount of strength that comes with the processes that your body's going to have to go to, go through to not only process what they're about to do to you, but to actually filter all of it out and bottom line, survive it. So they talk about this strength, but nobody focuses on it. We focus on gym strength. We focus on these competition strength, but nobody has any idea this level of strength we're talking about now. Because allopathic and their model, and I'm not saying whether I believe in chemotherapy or not, that's not this video. I think if you follow my page long enough, you know exactly where I stand on that. But um, allopathic, naturopathic, TCM, German New Medicine, chiropractic, all the fucking all the named medicines that are all coming from the same thing. They're all labeling you in some way. They're all pointing out how your body's dysfunctional. They're all pointing out how you need fixed by this approach, this approach. You need to be fixed because your body is stuck or it's in conflict or it's under traumas or it's subluxated or there's scar tissue that all of a sudden happened or you have sarcopenia or you have osteomalacia or you have i mean it's just all this attack 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 your body's chronically tight your body's chronically loose like holy shit what's the puzzle here's the level of medicine that we need okay now i think you understand what the page stands for where all forms of medicine that have a name meaning they have a special name like chiropractic or they have german new medicine or traditional chinese medicine but it's been around for two thousand years some of the clowns of today will be around. Their techniques will be around 2,000 years from now. It doesn't make it true. It just means it's withstood people still buying it <laughs> and people still utilizing it. It doesn't make any amount of truth to it because it's been around. That, that I do know. Um, so any named medicine is all going to be based on this version that your body is healing. And they're going to try to fix you and whatever. But whatever they're method is your body needs a certain level of strength to be able to process the nonsense whether it's allopathic or in anything natural or holistic or functional or integrated whatever the named medicines are or whether it's true medicine and you know there's only one name i trust in all the medicine you understand why so there are a lot of times where it's literally tj this person needs to come back into their physical body, know their physical body, understand, be able to be resilient, be able to stand in the face of all this 
to prepare for the healing responses that are about to come when you get honest and real with what medicine is, what it means to you, and your steps that you're going to have to take to change your life, to put you in a position to be able to heal. Your body is going to express, and you have to be strong to be able to come down off of medications, to be able to take a certain apparatus out of you or prep for their procedures or whatever it's going to be. So it doesn't matter whatever version of medicine that you buy into as you're trying to discover what true medicine is, which is just medicine. It's just healing. It's just human. It's just life. There's no special name to it. But you're going to have to be very, very strong to be able to do so. Even in the world of allopathic where they'll say you are not strong enough to handle this version of chemotherapy or another level of this or you're not strong enough to handle what's going to happen with this surgery they will even say it but then nobody goes ahead and talks about it or they pervert it in their own little rehab therapy training fitness gym model way um strength and conditioning way it's not sustainable it doesn't last uh you need a special building special equipment special named fitness even and and that's again something that's getting in the way of a lot of things so not only do you need to prep your physical body to handle the appropriate expected healing responses that are coming once you admit truth once you admit the honesty behind how you've been living and I'm not talking about bare feet and light for all of you that claim you're like Cassie and I. Like, oh, we're just like you. We're bare feet all the time and we get light. That's the extent of what you think we're talking about. Are those important? I guess. Is that the extent? Is that is that kind of the tough stuff? No. Great place to start. Simple. It's easy. But that's not the stuff that's going to ultimately, in my opinion bode for preparing you to change the changes we're talking about now not only do you have to prep for the healing responses and be strong enough to prepare to handle coming down off these things or or making these changes and shifts but you also have to be strong enough to be able to stand in the face of everything in your previous life that you're changing amongst or in front of because not anybody's going to understand this. Spouses aren't going to understand. Your children aren't going to understand. Your community, your group, your golf group, your fam- the rest of your family, uh, your crew, schools, church, like whatever you've got, they're not going to understand it. And for you to be able to stand and without wavering go, this is what I'm doing. This is what I need. This is how it's going to be. And watch this. And then you go ahead and you just heal because that's what happens. It's just 100% going that way. Better than you were prior to not managing symptoms because we know that's not healing. But to be strong enough to be able to stand in the face of everyone in your previous life. To be strong enough and stand in the face of all the other messages coming down the line. One of the reasons I'm constantly talking about this level of strength, true strength, is even I get inundated all the time. You overhear conversations or you see posts or you see people DMing me that think they get it and think I'm going to rally behind their message or people that want me to mentor them that think they get it and they just don't have a clue or all the messages, all the accounts, all the things I'm being asked to uh, participate in, all the affiliate groups, all the freedom shit, all the stuff, all the things to represent, all the things to sell, all the messages, all the verbiage, all the words, all the stories. Oh my God, I get exposed to it as well. It bounces off me and just goes away because I've done so much work to test and trial and error. I feel like something's sneaking sneaking up on me. To put myself in a position to experience this over and over and over and over that I know without a doubt this is how it is. 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 Over and over and over. There is one truth. There is one way and then the infinite that is our version within that. But there are laws and rules that we have to abide by. And part of that is developing the strength to be able to stand in your own skin, handle the healing responses that are going to happen, which a lot of times are going to involve the skin, um, your body, all systems, responses. As I said the other day in a video, your, uh, uh, your expression is going to be in front of everybody. To have the strength to sit there in front of them as they're not understanding what they're seeing, not understanding, doubting, 
questioning. Are you sure you don't want to go over here? Just to make sure. You sure you don't want to go to my guy? Just to make sure. I know I know those people are good and all, and they're nice, but just to make sure, do you want to have this test? Just to make sure, do you want to go to this specialist? Just to make sure you want to go to the ER? Just to make sure, no, I'm good. I'm all right. This is exactly how it works. Without a, without a fucking fraction of a doubt, not an ounce of doubt, that's the strength I'm talking about. And then to be able to hold that in front of a spouse. Spouse better get on board. What's most important? Your level of life so you can love back. Your level of life so you can be an example to your littles. Your level of life so you can take care of your plants and your fucking pets. Whatever it is. Strength. Not gym strength. It is not found in a group. That's like finding nourishment in a buffet with a whole bunch of people all the time. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> can't be at a special building. Can't be with a special method. Can't be with special equipment. Can't be at special times of the day when only you feel like it. Can't be in this, this area where only you can represent at that time, at that place, for one hour, for 45 minutes with these special people, with these. It will never sustain You'll have changes because you, I could eat goldfish crackers for 30 days and have positive health changes. I'm not about to say that this is some sort of a detox, cleanse, whatever. You can do anything and change in a short period of time. It's learning what's sustainable, learning the rules, learning how to play with this, learning you, learning what your body is to be able to prepare for what's coming, to be able to prepare for every second of every month of every year of every moving forward that you come because with life like this comes more challenges more demands more and you better be experiencing this if you're living life how you should you're going to be injured many times but within that you'll know exactly what to do because you've healed from the source of why they occur in the first place or if your skin starts burning off as a healing response and you're strong enough to stand there and go yep thank you body what do you need me to change boom i'm gonna go right there and change it not one ounce of you saying, well, just to make sure mm, I'm going to go get some herbs and mm, I'm going to create a salve or I'm going to go get swabbed. I just want to make sure because I'm really not fucking sure. This is what I'm talking about. It's that little sitting on that fence and being like, yeah, 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 yeah. Body only heals and adapts. Yeah, man. Light. Yeah. Bare feet. This is great. Oh, my God. But holy fuck. My body responds like this. Jesus, it hurts. It's scary. It stinks. It, it looks like hell. Everybody is worried. And you have the true strength to sit there within your own skin and go, this is the way. I know exactly what I'm doing. Or I know exactly what I'm about to do. Get ready. Buckle up. Because we're coming. I'm changing. And you all better fucking get ready. There's medicine. How about that one? Strong enough to do that? we've had a lot of life that we've lived. Some of you more years around the sun, trips around the sun than me, but you get to this point when you discover this, you are going to have to be strong enough to one, be able to decide what form of medicine you're going to choose. And you're going to have to leave all the named ones behind. Have to, can't heal within them. Can't. There is no named medicine that will ever work. None of them. Not for special cases, not well for this. You got no, none. And as soon as you are strong enough to realize that moving forward, strong enough to be able to prep your body, to be able to handle the healing responses coming. Because once you start living true, the healing responses do happen. And a lot of times it hurts. A lot of times it oozes. A lot of times it swells and it flames. It stinks. Oh my God. You're going to have to be strong enough to stand in the face of every single person in your life who is along for the ride, or so you thought, valued you, and then you change in a radical way. Are they still here? Are they still hanging on? Do they still understand? Maybe they don't understand, but they're behind you. Shit, I don't know. And now there's your mentorship because you just healed yourself. There's the certification. There's the license better than any schooling since no schooling will ever teach you true medicine. None. There's no degree license or, or certification that will ever cover what's necessary in true medicine. There, It can't be set up the way it is. So what is strength? allopathic says that you're not strong enough to handle this round of chemotherapy or this version or this surgery or this they mention it a version of it to be able to tackle be able to see the truth in all these other forms of shit that they're just manipulating and playing the same story same thing with the same salvation but using the same words 
body only heals and adapts, man. Yeah, your body makes no mistakes. Yeah, let's change the words on disease. Yeah, let's do freedom this. Yeah, affiliate programs this, supplements this, detox this. Da, da, da. Doesn't work that way. Are you strong enough to stand in the face of all that and go, are you strong enough to stand in the face of your own skin and look at your body, no matter how it responds and go, yep, we know where we're going. All right, I'm coming up on 15 minutes. I got hiking to do, driving to do. See you, Colorado.